Okay, here we are at the uh, Murder Manor Club. Yay! <laughs> this is a working man's club, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. No, right. we're working men. We're not too far oh, from uh, oh. Wimbledon Centre Court, where Bjorn Borg had his moment of glory, and um, playing off a chunk from uh, Central London tonight. By overbound underground, I was bumbling free. Oh. 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 <laughs> not too far from here, the Wombles. And I'm actually here tonight with Payne Mantis. Tino Troy, new boy in the band, Gary McKenzie on drums. Hello there. Tino. Chris, 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 and Chris, 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 and um Misaka, that's a good Misaka. Misaka. <laughs> Misaka. 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 Over the years, Japan's been very kind to play Mantis. Mm. And um, it was sort of 1990 really, in many ways, sort of got the ball rolling again, got the band back together, he went out there and did some special gigs. Yeah, I think 1990, it was a surprise to us really, it was um, the, this hybrid Mantis stroke uh, maiden thing that um, uh, I'm not sure whose brainchild it was, was it? It was actually, well, what it was is um, Paul Diana would go out there with Battle Zone and um, Massa Ito, La Grand Fromage of Rock out there, is the, uh, is the um, massive ego. The, he was the equivalent of Tommy Vans DJing here. I'm not a guy, he looks he like a still alive. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he said to um, Paul, he said, Well, I don't want to bring Buffer Song out here. We'll do, what we'll do is, um, why don't you try and bring Mantis out here and do a 10th ten, anniversary of a new way of British heavy metal? Mantis Maiden, as you're no longer in you know, Maiden and Dennis Stratton, try and do this. So we, what we did is we rehearsed all these songs. Half of it was Maiden, yeah. Maiden songs from the first album. What was the first album? The second first album. First and second. Yeah, yeah, first yeah. and second. Obviously, the Paul Diano, Dennis Stratton connection. Yeah. yeah. So we set, um, we started off with that. We did the half of the set was encompassed, encompassing those Maiden tracks, and then the second half. And then we did a couple of Lionheart songs, which is Dennis's band after Maiden. And no, it's just one song, I think it was Dangerous Game, wasn't it? Yeah. Dangerous yeah. Game, we did that. And then and Paul Diano came on and, um, and we did the, and then, he, he, sorry, we didn't, did it? We did the Mantis thing first. I think it was Mantis, then we did a couple of line art, and then Paul came yeah, on. The old grey man. <laughs> well, that's 20, is it 20 years? 21 years. 21 years ago. But anyway, did <laughs> bring new life into the band. It did, indeed. I mean, the, the thing went down phenomenally. Yeah, that's re I think it surprised everybody really how, how well it went down. Um, there's no doubt that it did generate, um, you know, regenerate Mantis and uh, gave us a new sort of lease of life over there. And since then, it's been pretty good. So, yeah. Fantastic. And the play Mantis flag is still flying. and you pulled the album Sanctuary out two years ago. Yeah. And recently, you've done a, a new EP, full of Japanese marking, done some extra tracks. And uh, I will try and say this right it's a metal. Metamorphosis. Metamorphosis. For the rabbit fans. <laughs> Actually, you know, that, that name had been kicking around for a while for, for one of our albums, but this seemed to be the most fitting album to actually apply it to. Because, um, as you know, the, the old songs from yesteryear, from the first album around that, that era, so it's 30 year anniversary with a new, new lineup. So we recorded them, re-recorded them. Half of the songs uh, on the album were done by Benji, Benji Reed and drums, and half of the songs we've recorded with um, Gary and Mr. McKenzie here. Uh, no, six eleven, actually. Six, yeah. six yeah. eleven. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, would it be available to the UK fans or Europe fans any time? It's a good question. Um, the, um, it's, a, it's a license and deal purely for Japan, so um, yes, it, I think it will be. Um, I, I just, we just need to just negotiate that part of them to see if they will be kind about it, but I think it should be. It's good. available, but it costs 30 quid. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, well, wait till it's available. Wait till it's <laughs> yeah, really. I'll buy it. <laughs> and, uh, what, you know, I'll say you've been to Japan so many times, what is it that you like about Japan yourselves? Um, the Japanese girls, no doubt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say something! <laughs> Is that tumbleweed flowing through? <laughs> yeah. I it's an amazing place. It, it, there's no, you know, it, it's got this real vibe about it. Particularly, I think the first time, which you must have experienced, you know. You know yeah, yeah, the first yeah, time yeah, we went been, last year. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. just the, the, you know. The, it is, it's, it's, it's an amazing, uh, it's not so much culture shock, but it's such a, um, a uh, envious culture. You know, yeah, because it's just the way of life there. It's just everybody's so 
civilised to each other. Yeah, it's very polite society. Very polite society. And, society. Yeah. and just, 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 you know, going in bars and restaurants. And I mean, I love Japanese food, so it suits mm -hmm. me to the ground. But, uh, but it, it's just the people are so nice, and the, the, you know, I mean, obviously the fans of the band have been around for ages. But they were so. Last time we went, which was with Minor Mike's first time, the fans were so nice to us. Mm -hmm. Oh, they were fantastic. Yeah, yeah. yeah. everybody yeah. invited yeah. all yeah. present, yeah. and no, it's, it's amazing. Treated us like royalty. That's like, it's a nice way to start the year off. It's, it's, it's a great to 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 way to blow the January blues <laughs> away. Go to Japan, then we come back and we do Norway as well. We go yeah. to Norway, yeah. so yeah. that looked. All that sick and tired, you've been hanging on me January and stuff. It's, it's all I'd like say 2012 is actually a very busy year for Pain Magnus. You've got quite a lot of festival dates lined up already. Yeah, we've got an Arctic Festival in Glasgow, which will be like an indoor yeah, festival. Yeah, yeah. We've got Lock of Ages lined up. Yeah. Yeah, that's a Tough loss. Tough loss. Cyprus, all places. Barcelona. Barcelona. The Doctor Metal Festival. Indeed. Yeah. Tell us about that one, because uh, I don't know about that one. <laughs> 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 well, I don't know we, we did, that. we did yeah, um, the uh, metal cover um, back in November um, with with Raven and uh, Tyson Dog, oh, okay. um, and one of the guys who's in, involved in the organisation of that um, has set up a new promotion company. And uh, it's, it's off the back of that promotions company. They're, they're, they're putting on quite a few shows this year. Tony mm -hmm. Martin? Yeah, yes. it's Tony. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and, uh, you know, I think he liked us so much um, that he asked us back again to, uh, to headline um, a night that he's putting on. So okay. yeah, we're, we're more, than, more than happy to do that. And you've also been invited back to play Sweden Rock Festival game. Have you played? No. <laughs> 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 in fact, after last week, the the, the, uh, the interview we did, I think I don't think we would ever be allowed. Back <laughs> <again>. <laughs> well, listen, to the same interview. Great, I think we were going to. Oh, the we'd love to go. I'd go back to Sweetwater anyway. I, yeah. I love, love Sweetwater yeah. Festival. It's it's. Was that 2010? Yes, 2010. Yeah. 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 I just had an inquiry from downstairs actually in, in the Merton Manor in this working man's club here about one of our fans. He said Dave Roberts has been trying to get in contact with you. So there's possibly. You played that before, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Two years on the trot. Yeah. Did we do it? Yeah, that's it. Yeah. That's the same one there. But uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, it, you know, normally this time of year we're kind of thinking what's ahead this year, but this year there seems to be already a few things mm. in the bank. Yeah. So I mean, if anything, we were really looking at trying to get a big gap. Um, not for you. <laughs> <laughs> the um, j just to literally start concentrating on you know doing the album. Yeah, you because you, you well, what we don't want to do is is a you know another six year break yeah. um, which we we had between um, what's it called again? <laughs> the Journey yeah. Goes yeah. <laughs> and, and Sanctuary. Um, and I think it's really going on. Yeah, yeah it's, it's getting. So it's about two years old now, isn't it? Three, three, three. 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 Yeah, so it yeah. still seems quite a new album to me. It does. It's it's so it started off slowly, kind of things. It's time you could be views, and people still picking up on that. Yeah, 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 it's good though. I mean, that's that's power of the web as well. Yeah, yeah. have been able to advertise it. And well, a, a, a number of people said that they think it will be very much like Time Tells and the lives. It will continue to, mm. to to sort of grow, and you know, hopefully one day may become a bit of a sort of. So in thirty years. Oh, yeah. to be yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> a bit like Bugly. Bugly! Uh, Bugly! Uh, 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 you shot a video of one of the singles on it, Turn the Tide. Yeah, yeah. 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 And, um, it's like nearly 60,000 hits on that which is good. Right? Really enjoy, and, uh, it does confuse some fans, like, this is like two song titles for that song, isn't it? Yeah, that's yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but then you get something like Praying Man is Eating Mouse, Attacked Mouse, and that's got like a sort of million hits. So <laughs> the thing about doing one that says Praying Man is versus Scorpion. <laughs> 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 and just that Praying Man is Scorpion, it's like uh, having guitar tunes. Yeah. <laughs> 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 but yeah, there, there was a slight. Confusion with the titles. I mean, we it was turn the tide. Then we decided to call it Lonely Way Home, and then something weird happened with the the actual. Tuna thing. thought it sounded too much like the uh, you know tide. You know, the, your, your whites will come out clean. <laughs> <laughs> or was that oh, so powder, Yeah. <laughs> but then we decided to call it Lonely Way Home. I think the American version. It's it's Lonely Way Home. The American That's version right, yeah. is Lonely Way Home. Yeah. Yeah. And also on iTunes, it's Lonely Way Home. Well. But it's a talking point. It's a talking point. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's a confusing. point. When you think of it, you effectively call it Turn the Tide in brackets Lonely Way Home. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, 
That's what we've done, actually. <laughs> no, yeah, I'll try to, but that, that, I don't know. It's clever, it's like a play on words. But you just mentioned you hoping to record some new material this year. Have you got any new songs written for the next album? Yeah, we have, actually. We've got a stack of ideas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah no, this is, but it's just having the time it's to actually go, right, we're down, not going to... Yeah. But it's always been, oh, well, put it back until we've done this. Well, hang on, we've got to do that, so put it back. <clears throat> but, but there's like ideas sort of flying around on MP3s, mm -hmm. emailed, yeah. and, and yeah, there's, there's a few, a good few bits and pieces. Getting, 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 getting in the studio and getting solidified, basically. And yeah, getting and also it's finding the time, and yeah, many your tour time is looking busy, so... Well, especially because we just did the, you know, it was quite, we were under quite a time constraint to get the Metamorphosis 2 done, because yeah. the Japanese uh, record company wanted it in time to release before Christmas. Mm -hmm. And we were up against it pretty <laughs> mildly. Yeah, and so perfect. every weekend it was recording stuff at Dan and Chris's, at mine, or at Tino's, and we did a lot of the drums at uh, Pinewood, actually, Pinewood yeah. Studios, which was great. But then the mixing part of it, it was suddenly timing. Yeah. And so we're just kind of taking a breather after that, and now we're going to get into the writing the new songs. Well, has the reaction been to the Metamorphosis uh, EP? Because, yeah. like I say, because we've really got old cool. songs and I think it was a worry for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me the insights. Give me the insights. Yeah. Give me the figures. Well, yeah. the, the actual, the actual, the first one, the the, the one that was released, like that we just did ourselves. Yeah. It wasn't through a record company. It got amazing reviews. Oh, oh yeah, absolutely yeah. blinding yeah. reviews. Well, it found itself on HMV. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So, so yeah, some of the HMV shows. Cargo, we distributed it. In many ways, if you're a new fan, all you really need is Sanctuary. Sanctuary and Metamorphosis. I know, you still need Tom Tom's 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 Tom's
pull it off because it's a very different thing to mm. playing an acoustic song. You try and play it like you do I know, with, with an electric, and it just sounds totally awful. You have to rework them. And um, it's, it's worked in a way. Does yeah. that take you fall back for the next album? Maybe throw an acoustic track on? Well, um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't see why not. I mean, like, the, the acoustic, I mean, we did that with Turn the Tide anyway, that would make the acoustic to start off with, and yeah. we electrified it. Well, that idea you were playing in the, uh, in the sound check earlier on. Yeah, yeah. That would yeah. be pretty, pretty damn good. That's right, yeah. It's, it's, it's always a bit of a struggle to using acoustics live in a, in a sort of big stage scenario yeah. because yeah. See, if we're you more need an acoustic PA, <laughs> really. Well, discipline. Yeah, if we were a bit more disciplined, like you <laughs> yeah. said, so we're, we're going away to all these hotels and that, we're, we're touring here, there and everywhere. If we spent less time drinking like in the <laughs> hotel room, actually knuffling down some of these songs, we'd probably... Yeah, we'd been on a fifth hour in the century. Oh, here's Rocky Bowl, and uh, I think that's coming into it. Yeah. Right, man, it's been fantastic talking to you. Thank you very much. Yeah, sure. 2012 is going to be, yeah. looks like a good year, and I'm looking forward to it. Hopefully I'll catch up in you at uh, some oh, point. I'm sure we'll see you. I'm proud of holding that camera so steady. Thank you. The Japanese fans out there, yeah, we're playing yeah, yeah. in Tokyo Shipyo Club, Kotro, on the 12th, and the night after on the 13th, Osaka Shangri-La. Shangri Shangri so, worth checking out. Fame, mate, it's all the best. Thank you very much. Cheers. 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 <laughs>